Hello, my name's Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV7. You're watching a program called Travels with Holden. And you're probably saying, wait a minute, Fred, where's Holden? Well, Holden's smarter than all of us. He's back at Churchill Elementary School having a good time learning his A, Bs, and Cs. What we do is we travel every week, go around to different hot spots in Queen Anne's County, memorials or things that we think you might be interested in. Today, we're outside of Centerville, right next to Parks and Recreation, at a beautiful park called Queen Anne's County Fallen Heroes Memorial. It's quiet, it's restful, and it's a good way to thank the firemen and police people and emergency service people who've given the ultimate price their lives in serving us so we can sleep at night, travel safely, and be safe in our jobs. It's a beautiful place if you have a chance right outside of Centerville. Again, Queen Anne's County Fallen Heroes Memorial right outside of Centerville. And we all say thank you. Our second stop today on Travels with Holden, we've come from Centerville down to the Kent Narrows Bridge, which is right over my, right beyond my arms here. We're at the Maryland Waterman's Monument. If you come to Queen Anne's County, and you see this beautiful bay and our beautiful rivers and streams, you have to think about the men and women who in the past and every single day spend their time out making sure that we have fresh seafood and creating this wonderful atmosphere we have in Queen Anne's County. This is perhaps my favorite monument in all of Queen Anne's County, and I always like to thank George O'Donnell and his group that had a lot to do with it. Our next stop on Tours with Holden we're at the Chesapeake Country National Scenic Byway. Now, let me explain that. We've crossed the Kent Narrows. We're actually on Kent Island now. We have the Kent Island Trail, about 100 yards from where we begin, a beautiful scenic natural trail. You can ride your bike. You can walk. Just beautiful. We've got the Chesapeake Bay. We've got the whole Kent Narrows area, some of the best restaurants in the world. This is a monument to good taste and luck. You live in a county which has some of the most gorgeous scenery, some of the most gorgeous restaurants and dietary delights, and a wonderful way to spend a weekend. Come down to Kent Narrows, the Queen Anne's County Heritage Center, get some directions, hop on the trail, get something to eat. A wonderful day for you is on tap. Now we're on Kent Island. Have I got a special spot? This is called Broad Creek. Since the 1600s, this spot was a place where ferry boats would Come and over, head over to the western shore. In 1813, not only did ferry boats come, but 2,000 to 3,000 British troops came here, actually captured and held as prisoner a Ken Islander. It's a beautiful spot. Go down Route 8, okay, easy stop, easy visit, county property, and see this beautiful spot which has been used consistently since 1600s.